Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another interesting live data based Power BI dashboard video. Today, I have my own live data from all the airlines I have taken. I have the year, I have the name of the airline, how much money I spent in rupees for that particular ticket, rating on fire, how happy I was, how much time it took for that journey, the source, starting point, ending point, destination of the journey and also the distance covered. Okay, very very simple data. Based on this, what would I want to look at, right? Very uh, general stuff. What are the few things I would use? And I'll show you one or two cool features in Power BI as well. Okay. First up, before I even begin, I will just add one more column here, right? Just to have a count of the number of rows, right? Fairly simple process. So I can call it like counting or something. You can give it any name you want and you can say is equal to one. Okay. <coughs> what this is going to do is, it's going to give everything a value one, right? So it's simply like a dummy column we are creating. Step number one, now we have the data and this column. Now let us go and try to solve few questions, okay? What is the total money I spent on, on all the trips, right? This is not exhaustive list of trips as you see, 2015 to 2024, only certain trips. I have not covered all trips, just a sample data, but this is actually live original data, okay? So total money I spent we can go for a scorecard. Before that, again, can we give a title? Yes, we can. So you can go text box. I think I shown you this in the previous Power BI videos as well, right? Just adjust the size and say airlines dashboard, right? As simple as that. Then you can select, change the size, uh, make it 28, whatever, maybe center it. Uh, if you want, you can give color, right? Any color you might give blue color. Okay, this doesn't matter just to give a start. Now the total money spent, how can we uh, pull this? So I can go for a scorecard, okay? And then just make it smaller, right? Maybe move it down. Total money spent, so it can just be the sum of the cost in rupees, okay? And I can come here and rename the visual. I will rename it total money spent. Okay, so now the name is also fine. So 9,70,000 I have spent, right, on all these trips, total money spent, quick number to look at. Let's come back here. Uh, unique airlines, how many unique airlines I have taken? As you see, I have taken a variety of airlines in this data. So for this, again, I can introduce a second scorecard, right? Let me click out of this and click another one. And you can adjust the size, right? Very, very simple, nothing complicated. Um, where is the airline? So I have airlines. So I can click on this, drag the field here, and then I can make it count distinct. Okay. And rename unique airlines. Okay, very, very simple process. So I've taken 19 different unique airlines from various carriers across the world, right? Another interesting information for me to know. Now, moving further, what was the average rating I had given overall? Okay. So for this, what we can do, we can get a bit innovative and use our uh, gauge kind of thing, right? So I can just drag this, okay, not this one actually. So let me just make it smaller and just this one and I can maybe place it here, okay? So here I want to see the rating out of five, not the sum, but the average, okay? And then the max value, I want to give it uh, by dragging the rating out of five let me just drag it again. Okay, but the maximum value this time. Okay. And then, you know, here the names are all a bit random. So let me rename this average rating. And then I can give this a name out of five or something. Okay. Just leave it at that. Okay, target value, I am not putting anything. Just gonna remove that. Right, so average rating out of five, 4.24, right? Overall, I've rated 4.24 out of five. Overall, it looks like I've been quite happy with most of my trips. So that was the third one, average rating. Now, total distance, but by year, right? So for this, what we can do, maybe I'll come back here and then this time, let me fetch a clustered bar chart or something, okay? So I should click out of this and then I'll select clustered bar chart. Okay, adjust the size, not too much. 
and I can bring this here, right? I can place it here. And now I want to see uh, by year. So I can maybe put it here if I want. Okay. Year and then the total distance. Okay. So now we have the sum of distance in kilometers by year. Uh, it's coming from 2010 all the way. But if you see, for example, 2015 was 21,150. This year seems really a lot, right? 2017, 62,100 kilometers. Let's see why was that the case. Okay. 2017, if you see, uh, I think, yeah, there's some Emirates flights that have been put. And of, of course, a lot of flights to Australia, Kuala Lumpur and all, right? So it's a, like a mix of stuff, probably. So that is why that year is a lot. And then I can see another year, 2019, 49,000 kilometers. And I think it was because in 2019, as you see, I've traveled from Europe all the way to the United States, right? And also went to India from Europe. So I think this is why that's a lot. And then coming back, then there's also 20, 23, 40,000 kilometers. And that makes sense, right? Uh, last year, if you see, I've uh, flown to uh, yeah South America and stuff. Probably that's why. Okay, so quick way we can find okay which were the years where I've covered a lot of distance, right? Then a few more things we can add is like average time traveled by airline or the average hours, right? Average hours flown. So let's say I want to add uh, another s scorecard itself. Okay, so I'll just adjust this and just uh, drag this, make it a bit smaller, right? So average hours flown, right? So average time in hours. Instead of some, I'll make it average. So average flying time overall is five. This doesn't really give a lot of sense because some flights are one hour, some are 12, some are 13, but on average, I've been flying uh, like five hours per flight, right? So this is obviously not a you know very big number, but uh, yeah, it might not give the accurate picture. As you see, some of the flights that I've taken uh, might also be like 10 hour flights, right? 1.5 hour flights, 8.5 hour flights. Right. So I guess this number is fine, but maybe not the most important. Right. So I'm going to remove this. So this is the thing, right? Not every metric or number is given. You need to use that in your dashboard. Average hours flown might be uh, as, as we saw, not as important. So let's try average time uh, traveled by airline. Right. What is airline here? Right. What does this actually mean? Right. Can we do something with this? So, yeah, maybe we can add a filter in terms of airline to see how these numbers change, right? So if I drag this one all the way down, for instance, and now I can bring a slicer, okay? There's an option called slicer. So I can adjust this, right? And I can move it somewhere here. And in this, if I add airlines, now I can select by airline and see, right? This is the overall numbers. So let's say I wanna see only Air France. I can select only Air France, right? Of course, unique airline will be one. I have spent 84, Okay. The rating is 4.67 and I have flown only in 2023 and 2020, right? So if I want to select Air France and Air India, you can hold your control button and select two options. And now you see how the uh, average changes. If I want to see Avianca, again, it's 4.67. If I want to see British Airways, I can do this. So now you see all the numbers will change. Of course, this unique airlines number won't make sense because if you select one airline, it's going to show one. But how much money I spent? What is the distance I traveled across years, right? So you can do this. So you can individually select one by one, or uh, you could also clear the selection that will show the overall numbers, right? So an airlines filter also helps. Now I see total money spent, total distance traveled by year, average rating and uh, unique airlines, not the most important. So if you want, you can also add the uh, time in hours here, right? To see uh, in each flight, what is the average time uh, I have flown, for instance, okay? So these are some of the things we could do. And one more thing is, can we show destinations in a map? Right. So for this, I'll just go to a second page and show you one quick thing to finish. So as you see in the data, we have something called a source and destination, right? Can we visualize this on a map like to see where all I have gone? For example, I'm going to page two, right? And there's an option map, right? So if this is not activated, you can do something like you have to go to file option settings and uh, go to options, right? And here you can go to security and try to turn on your map, right? Please activate it. I've already activated it. That might work. Okay. Now I'm going to select only maps. Okay. So I have a map here and this can give a cool uh, thing, right? So for example, I want to plot all the destinations I have been to. I can just select destination. 
okay so i'm going to drag destination put it in the location and now it looks like really cool right because if you notice this shows like where all i have been to right based on the values in the destination column so for example obviously within india i mean i've been to mali uh, colombo then within india chennai kochi and all that stuff i've also been to north america like houston mexico city san francisco i've been to south america recently lima and bogota and also you can see uh, one trip to cairo right i went there as well and then a lot of cities in europe like frankfurt madrid and i guess this is tallinn in estonia and all that right and also i've been down under to australia melbourne and sydney right so this is like a cool way to show that i've been to you know all the places right so you just select a map and you can select destination instead of destination if you select source it will show all the source values as well okay this is a very cool feature also that you can use map feature especially with cities and for this you might need to do one thing so normally when you have the data right in your case if i select source it might show uncategorized then you can go here and select city right if it doesn't work but then remember to do one thing which is like very very important it will usually auto determine otherwise select city and also make sure these spellings are similar to what the actual city spellings are it might otherwise get confused okay so that is also important but by doing that you can actually plot the cities here it's auto detecting because the spellings are good so this is a cool feature as well right so this way i can show where all i've traveled to and here i have the main numbers like okay how much money spent how many unique airlines taken what is the average rating i've given total distance covered by uh, kilometer by year and as i said if you want you can also add uh, time in hours to say okay what's the average flight time so maybe some flights i might have taken lesser time because they are shorter flights some are longer flights and so on okay I'm going to attach the data so you can play around. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can add this to your portfolio projects as well. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, take care. Bye.